As a child, you could talk about Jesus to your own mother. You could talk to your, to your, to, about Jesus uh, to your own family members. But they will not understand you. In fact, they may even go against you and attack you in so many different ways. And they may call you names. This person is sick in the head. You've got a twisted mind. You're too much. Stop talking about Jesus. What do you think? You are a saint? Why are you showing that you are different? You're part of this family. You better blend in with this family. No, but my mom, my husband, my wife, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my friend. I got saved. Jesus touched me in a way I have never felt before. He changed me from head to toe. I am no longer the old me. I am the new person living in Christ. Christ gave me a new tongue. Christ gave me a new heart. Christ gave me a new, new set of eyes, new set of ease. Christ gave me a new insight. Christ gave me wisdom that I have never had before. That's why, believe you me, I may look crazy. I may look insane to you. I may look out of this world. And it is so true because the one who changed me is not from this world. He is out of this world. He is from heaven. He taught me how to sing a song of heaven. Of heaven. Therefore, do not be angry when people misunderstand you. No matter how close or distant those people are from you. Do not revenge. Do not retaliate. Pray, my child, for the Lord through His grace and mercy. The way He touched you, beg the Lord to touch their hearts so that they change. Because without the Lord changing you and me, we will never ever understand what a new song is all about. Amen? Amen. Only the 144,000 because they were redeemed. They were saved from the earth by the blood of the Lamb of God. And only those who are redeemed and saved by the Lord can understand what this new song is all about. No one can learn it except the saved one. Before, when I used to go to the club, or clubbing, with the what a dove dove. And I, when I used to hang around Mecca's, you know, Wetherill Park, Stockland Mall, and I think McDonald's, they'll have to pay me because I'm promoting him too much, no more. Forget him. When I used to go to those places, to those dark alleys before, for me it was life. For me it was the best of the best. For me it was my comfort zone. For me it was a place where I found myself at home. I was suffocated in the church. I couldn't handle it, not even for a sec. Especially when Bishop Murray talks, he talks for, <laughs> for a long time. I couldn't handle it. So when I was with my friends, when I was downtown in the city and seeing all the colors and all the lights and all the gazelles and the rosellas, this is life, bro. Now you're talking, brother. What do you mean go to church? Are you out of your mind? Are you sick in the head? Church are for all these, okay? Church is not for me, the young men and the young women. I need to experience life. I need to find out for my own self what life is all about. And for me, this is life. Cruising down the highway, singing, dancing, dressing up in whichever way and form I wish and going to Istanbul to change my face. Because it's cheaper. Australia is too expensive, brother. They want 20 grand. Listen, with the airline ticket, hotels, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and my face lift all together. 8,000 bucks, brother. 
So why should I change my face with 20 grand and seeing Fairfield, Nita City? I'm going to go with 8 grand and see Istanbul, bro. Beautiful. Right on the waters. But now, when Jesus, my Lord, my sweetheart, the love of my life, when he came and touched my heart, I tried to go to the club, a place where I used to take my oxygen. Now I'm receiving carbon dioxide. I am suffocating. The words I used to use, the language I had, I'm suffocating. The friends that I used to associate myself with, I am suffocating. The places that I used to be at, I'm suffocating. Now, when I come to church, finally I'm living. I'm breathing. Finally, I'm free. I was enslaved before. This, it is only you that can understand when Jesus touches you. In a very deep, profound way. That inner person is very complex. You know, when we close our eyes, what do we see? Void. But that void that we see when we close our eyes is endless. There is no limits, there is no boundary to that void once we shut our eyes. You know why? God did that. God is saying, close your eyes, my child, for a moment, and realize before you an endless space. Because it takes the infinite God to fill the infinite space. And that infinite space is inside of you, not outside of you. What God is saying, the only way for you to be filled inwardly, the only way for you to be enriched inwardly, the only way for you to be at peace inwardly, it takes the infinite God to do that. Let me touch you inwardly so that you realize where you were, who you were, and who you are now. A new song, a new life, a new person, a new start, a new language, the language of love, the most powerful, 